isn't life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> Woke up craving breakfast. Well, breakfast, breakfast, not just random breakfast, but just actually eating breakfast or actually breakfast meals. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best breakfast. I was gonna have breakfast dinner, no breakfast. Breakfast feast ever. Don't blink. First things first, I don't see breakfast without eggs benny. So let me show you how easy it is to make the best eggs benny ever at home. If I can do it at a camping trip or a camping site, you guys can make it at home. So English muffin, one cup of warm water. To this water, one tablespoon of extra yeast. To this beautiful yeast, one tablespoon of that good old sugar. Nothing to it. Mix that in, let this yeast activate. You see all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. Two cups of flour going in. Just grab that in, take that beautiful clean hand of yours and get right into it guys. And all we're looking for, come on, we know this, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you make an English muffin. Once you got that nice rolled out, all we're gonna do, cover this and let this proof for 40 minutes. Let's poach our egg. Well, not really poach our egg, but boil our egg. So, I'm not gonna poach it, I'm gonna break tradition guys, and boil this for about six minutes. Next, I got a double boiler here. So the double boiler has water and just a little tray here. So we're gonna make our hollandaise sauce. So I'm gonna turn down our heat. Not so high, guys. I'm gonna throw in seven eggs. And this is where you start whisking, okay? You don't want your eggs to cook. If your egg starts to cook, guys, take it off the heat. Then I got a cup of warm butter here. I'm gonna add it in slowly while whisking my hardest, guys. Whisk your hardest, I'm telling you. You better whisk when you make your hollandaise sauce, okay? Slowly add in that cup of butter while whisking the hardest. And it should thicken up nicely. I'll repeat myself again guys. If you guys see it cooking, take it off the heat and whisk. Then put it back on, all right? <laughs> add your butter, whisk, add your butter and whisk. Heat a bit. Twist this. Put it back onto the heat. Add my butter. Twist this. You got a nice creamy texture like this. Your hollandaise complete. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then if you got lemon, squeeze in some lemon. But I don't have any lemon, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon of white vinegar. Easy, simple, hollandaise sauce, complete. Throw it in the fridge for the time being. Six minutes up, our eggs are complete, so I'm just gonna run it under cold water. Ice and it. nothing to it. Just peel it. And you'll get the perfect soft boiled egg. Dough has risen, all we're gonna do, flour this counter here, flour this dough, flour my dough crowder. I'm gonna scoop this dough out, just like that. What we're gonna do now, we're not gonna karate chop it guys, we're just gonna roll it out. Nice and simple. Want it a little thick, okay? You don't want it thin. Who eats a thin English muffin? Who? Tell me who. Alright, there it is, perfect. Maybe one inch thick. Now we cut our muffins. Here we go, I got a pan full of olive oil, maybe two tablespoons of it. Take that English muffin, throw it on guys. We're gonna pan fry this for about three minutes on each side on a medium low heat. Who doesn't like fresh English muffins in the morning? Tell me who, tell me who. <laughs> exactly, everybody loves fresh English muffins in the morning. Three minutes in, guys, I'm gonna flip them. Look how beautiful they are. Tell me who, guys, who doesn't like fresh English muffin in the morning? That was a beautiful one. If they say they don't, they're lying to you, guys. Everybody likes fresh English muffin or English muffins in the morning. You know what? I hate liars, guys. I hate liars. People who lie to you like that, guys, you should just unfriend them. <laughs> Fresh English muffins complete. Who doesn't like these? So beautiful. Fruit salad. So I got a case of blueberries here. Next, we got some grapes. So just peel them in there. I'm not gonna have these. 
because I have no time. <laughs> Shout out to Wilson Wong for hooking me up with another knife, guys. So Wilson just hooked me up with this pair knife. So if you guys want to know my knife dealer, I'll put the link down in the description, guys. And it's very sharp. So chop up these strawberries. And guys, I'm not wasting this. I eat it. <laughs> Never waste good food. Mm. I got a nice cantaloupe here into the pool. Next, I got some kiwis. Lastly, I got some pineapples. Shout out to the vegans out there. You guys are probably looking at this and drooling right now, right? <laughs> all love vegans, all love. But this is not gonna be a vegan because I'm gonna throw some yogurt on it after too. Next, pancakes. So two cups of flour. Wait, chocolate chip pancakes, my bad guys. Half a tablespoon of bacon powder. Two tablespoon of sugar. And we're going with two cups of milk. Two crack eggs. Three tablespoon of butter, melted butter. A tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then we whisk this in. Before we start frying our pancake, guys, I got this. The beautiful trio. So I got sausage, bacon, and hash browns. Into the oven. Pancake time. So one tablespoon of butter going in. Take our pancake batter. We're gonna do one ladle of this goodness here. I'm gonna go in with some chocolate chips. Just a tad, not so much. One minute on each side now. Yeah. Not your best pancake cooker, guys. I apologize. Time to set up this breakfast feast. So I got some breakfast sausage here. I'm just gonna lay out. Got the hash browns. You know what? Sausage here. Hash browns here. Little pieces of bacon here. Some English muffins down here. Pan seared ham here. Not Canadian bacon, guys. Just that regular ham. That Canadian bacon actually just tastes like ham to me, guys. So I went out and got some ham. It's cheaper. <laughs> one goes a nice bowl of egg on top. I know that it's not tradition, but I didn't want to poach an egg today. Next, I got that beautiful hollandaise. Scoop on top of each. Cherry tomatoes round. Just brighten up this plate. Also some pea shoots. Cherry pea shoots on top. Just the pea shoots on top. Why not? This one's acting up on me. Bring on the hotcakes, guys. Not your best looking hotcakes, but this will do. I got some bananas. I'm just gonna throw it on top. Fruit salad. The vegans are drooling over this, right? <laughs> Topping for the fruit salad. Some Greek yogurt. Some granola. Forgot guys, for the hot cakes, I got that 100% maple syrup. I'm gonna drizzle a bit on there. Lastly, the good old great value whipped cream. There it is, guys. Nice, simple, nutritious, delicious breakfast for you guys. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. I'm gonna finally eat. So, where do you guys wanna start first? Let's do, I don't know. Let's do this, hash browns. Guys, I wish I made this. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Quick time.
It's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mmm. Tastes like McDonald's hash browns. Guys, sausage. It's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mmm. I haven't had this in a while, guys. And it still tastes greasy. <laughs> a piece of bacon. Great job. Bacon tastes like bacon. Sausage tastes like sausage. Hash brown tastes like hash brown. What's going on on this? So I'm gonna cut this. Here. I feel like a gong show going on right now, guys. So much things here. <laughs> okay. Get my plate. Not too shabby, guys. Take the first bite of this. This is chocolate pancakes. It's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mm hmm. Get that in. A little sweet, a little salty action. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Try to build that flavor in your mouth. Sweet, salty, greasy. Mmm. And more greasy. Mmm. I know I said I have wanted some breakfast this morning or some breakfast breakfast this morning. But I kind of prefer entrees, like dinner entrees as my breakfast. There's a whole lot of grease going on. <laughs> Alright, the eggs Benny. Guys, take a bite of this. Quick tap. Just got it. Nice. It's not warm anymore, but I bet it's still all good. Pop for this. It's gonna be greasy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let me show you. That beautiful, ooey gooey, six minute egg. Mm hmm. Mmm. Pretty delightful. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. These tomatoes, though, these tomatoes are fire. Just because everything's so rich, these tomatoes just cut it down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Next time I make pancakes, I'm not gonna put chocolate chips. I'm not a big fan of the sweetness or the real sweetness in the morning 
but it's not morning now. It's kind of like past lunch. But I'm not feeling it for my first meal. Still delicious, but too sweet for me. But here I am still eating it. <laughs> That's a funny thing though. Mama trying to know. But that's a funny thing. If you guys think about it. Ah, what's this? Some people will hate that so much that I say that it's not that great in the morning, but I still eat it. But the people that are saying that are usually the haters. <laughs> Man, usually the haters hate how I eat or how I do things, but they continually show up. Isn't that weird? Isn't that hypocritical of them? It's a weird thing, guys. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Everybody's a hypocrite. Nobody's willing to man up or woman up to say that they are. Me? I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Straight up, I am. See, I'm eating this now. I kind of like it now. <laughs> it's a weird thing. All right. This is very rich. Very rich in flavor. Let's go on on this. Vegans be drooling over this for sure. <laughs> or without the yogurt though. I'm going to throw a little yogurt on there. And some granola. And mix this up. Back in grade 10 food class. So I thought this was kind of the weirdest thing. I don't know why, but I thought it was. Okay, let's take the first bite of this. Quick dab. It's got it. Nice. Mmm. Well, I don't know why we were cooking this in food class. This is the weirdest food class I've ever been into. She made us cook this. I'm not cooking. She made us make this. But it took an hour just to get through the instructions of how to do it. <laughs> I was so confused. After the teacher taught us how to do it through writing it or writing it out. I don't know why we're writing it out, but after an hour of that, we went in the kitchen and I made this in like three seconds. <laughs> When I ate it, I thought it was the most beautiful thing ever. Um, I'm up. Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your food and life's beautiful thing. Shirts or a palm one. Let's share this. Peace out.